Hi everyone, here in this particular tutorial, we will understand how to create AWS EKS cluster with the help of Terraform. Now Terraform is the IIC tool that we can, with the help of which we can create uh, the multiple AWS resources and there is one of the very popular service that AWS offers that is Kubernetes integrated with the AWS and that is the EKS which is Elastic Kubernetes Service. So how exactly we are going to create this cluster that is EKS cluster. So in this particular tutorial we are going to create something called as VPC first okay and within the VPC so here what we are going to do exactly we are going to create the VPC and within the VPC, we are going to create the EKS. So uh, just assume like here something, we will create the VPC, okay? And uh, we will decide that what the, in which region that we, we would like to create the VPC and uh, uh, the how many subnets that we wish to create, the what, what should be the CIDR value. So everything we can just modify. And within this VPC, we would like to create the EKS cluster, okay? Now within that EKS cluster again that how many uh, nodes that you would like to create the worker node or the your master node okay so master node is basically will get created and along with that your worker node will get created so uh, master node is going to give the instructions to your worker node and uh, within your worker node your containerized application will be running all the time. So all of these things you can create it the infrastructure and that we are going to understand how we can create that exactly. So here to follow this procedure or to exactly create this uh, with the Terraform, we are going to use something called as the uh, the Terraform uh, modules. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So first of all, you guys have to go to my GitHub repository and there you should find one repository called as EKS Terraform. Now I'll provide the link in the description. So you may check out that from there that uh, the code that what exactly code here I'm going to use. Okay. Now this is the code that I'm going to use and uh, you guys can just go to this particular repository. And in fact, I have written all the instructions that you have to follow. Okay. So let's find, uh, let's just follow the instructions one by one. The very first thing here, what I'm saying is that clone the code using the below command. Okay, so you can just clone your code to your local repository and you should get this main.tf file. So let's just do that. So here I'm at this curl location, which is my user home path. Now I would like to, let's say, clone the code at particular folder. So uh, let's say I'll go to uh, desktop path and uh, there i'll create uh, let's say eks terraform directory now i have created this folder on the desktop under this particular folder i am going to clone the code okay so let me say cd eks terraform and here i'm gonna say git clone or i'll, I'll just copy this command from here itself and uh, we'll simply paste that command Okay, so I have cloned the code. Now, before going further, okay, I just want to uh, discuss few of the prerequisite here. Okay, so you guys have to create your infrastructure with the help of Terraform. So basically, your required Terraform tool has to be already installed within your laptop. Now, I already have it. Okay, so if you don't have, please install this Terraform tool first of all. Once you have the Terraform tool, make sure that you have the AWS CLI tool also installed and uh, you have the kubectl tool uh, that is also again installed now these are the three tools you uh, have to install and along with that you have to be authenticated with any of the user okay the aws user so uh, you know whichever the user you can create one im user and those credentials you can use it or i can give you the simplest uh, you know way to uh, you know generate the credentials and use it for this uh, you know day of uh, uh, demo but uh, just do remember that, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you the way, uh, you know, to generate the credentials with the root credential. But, uh, you know, in real time, of course, we don't use the root credential. So uh, uh, here for practice, you can use the root credential, but 
uh, in real time you should be creating the IAM user so uh, for this example let me create the root credential you can click here uh, at the right top and here you have option to click to, uh, in a security credential just click on that so I am right now logged in with the root user okay and that's the reason I get that option to uh, you know generate the credentials here with the root okay so I can scroll down here and I get the option that is access key so here at this point you can say create access key and uh, you know just tick here that is I understand just say create access key and this is a place where you will get the access key and the secret key okay now this key is you need to pass it with the AWS configure command how you can do that so you can just click here and just say AWS configure and then once it is asked you access key just copy paste this one and provide so you need to copy this access key this is the one just copy it and paste it there okay then it's going to ask you the secret key just paste the, paste the secret key and your default region name so in my case I'm keeping it AP South one if you have anything else you can keep that one and uh, default output I'm keeping none so by this way I'll be providing my credentials and just to confirm whether my credentials are working fine or not I can use the AWS S3 LS to just confirm okay I'm like just listing out my S3 buckets here and you can see here yes I am just getting the output correctly so even if you in your case you, you don't have the S3 bucket that's fine uh, you should not get any error okay you should not uh, get any error with respect to the authentication to just confirm that here you can see AWS is configured properly with in, in my case uh, and then we are also done with the git clone command okay so uh, you know here we said git clone and that command and after that I do have this EKS Terraform okay so I'm just going to open this particular EKS Terraform registry and here you see that we have this main.tf file okay and uh, which is basically here from here I have taken this one okay uh, so what I have done here, like I have created or I'm mentioning, I'm creating the EKS and the VPC with the help of modules. Okay. Now this Terraform module is already written by the community and you can directly use them. So that could be the easiest way to create your EKS with the help of Terraform. Okay. Now uh, EKS is having so many different, different uh, parameter while creating it. Right. So, uh, you know, if you start creating the things from the scratch, it will take a lot of time and efforts at the same time. So to reduce that, like somebody has already written the module, we can utilize that. And let's say if you have to make some changes, so you can make those changes by changing the variable. Okay. So let's see what, what here I have done. So this particular code, I'll just open in the VS code. Let me do that. So here in this place, you guys can see that we have this both of the files, which is main.tf file. And let me explain here. Okay. So basically this is the uh, Terraform require providers. Okay. And uh, you can just mention that one just uh, normally. Uh, you can take this from the documentation. And I'm, I'm, what I'm doing here is like, I'm mentioning something, the provider version, which is uh, more than five. Uh, the next thing here, we have this provider configuration. And inside that I'm mentioning the region. So if you guys wish to change the region uh, to create your EKS infrastructure, you can change it accordingly. Uh, in my case, I'm considering the Mumbai region. That's the AP South one. Uh, the next thing here, module I have written, that is the VPC module. Now the module source, just check out the source for that. Okay. So here you see that it's a Terraform AWS module. Now this particular module, the one you choose, the one which you see here. Okay. So that's something. Uh, I'm, I'm considering the AWS defined module, okay, like Terraform AWS module. So it's a predefined module by the Terraform, uh, and I'm going to use that one, okay. And if you want to check, like uh, from where I've taken it, I can just go to the Chrome browser, and here you can just search, let's say Terraform VPC module. Now, here at this location, if I click, click on the very first link, you guys can see here uh, this is the this is the module that I here I'm talking about, okay. Now it is again having a different different versions. So you can just check this is what the module here I'm considering. And if you want to check like what exactly code it is, you can click here on the examples. Let's say again here we have a multiple uh, things, uh, you know, that, that you can just check out. But let's say here, if I just scroll down, 
um, you can see the usage okay now from the usage you get ultimate idea about how exactly you can create the module so you can provide some name as for your choice what is the CIDR value you would like to keep then is is you could you'd like to keep okay let's say here in this particular uh, you know you would like to create a VPC in this EU West one and as per that the is is you can mention that uh, then the private subnets how many public subnet okay everything that you can just mention and as per that you can create the VPC directly okay with the with the along with your uh, along with your subnets okay let's by by any case that you don't want to enable the NAT gateway okay so just make it false or don't mention this at all okay so these are the uh, values you can define and that's how you can create so same thing i have copied here in this repository and you can see so what are the things here i've changed i have put some name as per my choice in your case you can change this name as well the cidr values i'm considering here 10.10.0.0 slash .10 16 as per your choice you can make the modifications here as well second thing is is right so here the episode 1a 1b 1c like that you can just make the modifications uh, so uh, in in case of AP South 1, we have the three AZs, so all the th those three AZs here I'm including. Okay, the private AZ, subnets also here, you can just change it as per uh, your choice that if you have anything. So just make sure that, you know, as per CIDR value, you need to consider this uh, public and private CIDR as well. Okay, so that this is about the VPC and the next thing here, I have mentioned the module case. The same way here, I search for VPC, you guys can just search for the, uh, the module eks terraform and here i got the very first link just open that one and here you can just check out okay either you can check the examples here or that 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 will basically uh, take you to the terraform uh, registry github repository from where the exactly code is coming you may check it out that like how that is written or else you can simply scroll down uh, and here you can see the example okay the usage example so this is what simply I have copied here. You can uh, make the necessary changes here. Okay, so let me show you what all the changes here I have done. Okay, so in this example, I you can put your cluster name. I'm just, just simply keeping the my cluster. Okay, the next thing here, uh, you know, do you want the cluster point access? Uh, like basically that cluster want to be used from your laptop publicly? Yes, that's what something you want. Uh, then these are the few of the add-ons, the plugins you need to add. Uh, then vpc id okay now that's something you know important one because see in this example vpc is something uh, you can either mention it manually let's suppose that you don't want to create a vpc okay in in my example i'm creating vpc and within that vpc i'm creating the eks but let's suppose you don't want to uh, create a vpc separately you just want to use your existing vpc so just copy your vpc id and mention it here okay that's it so this is what the changes you will do uh, same case for subnets. So just mention all your subnets here in a square bracket um, And uh, like this is something the, you can keep the Your public subnet and this place you need to keep your private subnet because that's a control plane your master node is going to be uh, reside in the public subnet and uh, Here are all the other subnets. Okay, the your worker node will get created in the private subnet uh, fine so these are the changes here i have done in my case uh, you can make the necessary changes or just keep it the same okay uh, if you don't want uh, much headache okay just you want to keep it simply vpc and the eks just just follow uh, don't make any changes here okay the next thing is that how many machines you want okay so uh, you know this is the manage node you're creating so let's say you would like to create a two worker node you can make the changes here like you know just say here two minimum node you would like to keep all the time that is two worker node okay so just make the changes and save it the maximum you are allowing let's say 10 so that that's what you can just keep adding and what is the instance type you wish to add so here i'm saying t3 large okay so as per that uh, you can do the change okay so that's what here i have done now all those values you can modify as per your choice uh, so that's something here i have cloned and uh, you know within the cloned repository you will get the same file okay great so i'm done cloning here code and you can see this is what the main.tf we have the next thing what what is the next instruction we have let's check it out so we are done with the cloning part okay and here what i've written is that you know if you have to make any changes in the variables you can make so uh, it's time to say terraform init okay and then uh, it is to initialize your repository then you can just check it out that what you know by saying terraform plan you can see what all things will get created 
and lastly terraform apply will actually apply the things okay now just make sure that you have already configured your credentials and which we have which i have already done so in my case i i don't have to worry about this thing okay so let's go ahead and, and do it here i'll go and say terraform in it now we have to wait for some time let's wait so here at this point you guys can see that terraform initialize is successfully done and it's time to say either terraform plan or terraform apply okay so i am just going to skip this command basically terraform apply is also going to show me the same thing so let me say terraform apply directly and let's see what what the output i get now again it is going to take some time so let's wait to see uh, so it is going to show me the plan that what all things it is going to create let's wait so overall here you can see that we are going to add 70 resources okay so again uh, those things will get you know uh, will will require time and you you can just check it out okay what are things that eks is going to create for you uh, and there are a lot of resources okay some of those are like uh, roles uh, then vpc you know vpc itself has so many resources like subnets uh, the NAND gateway, the intern gateway, okay. So all those resources will get created and here I'm just gonna say yes and let's wait. Again, this is going to take somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes. So uh, just apply. So here I'm saying enter a value. So you just say yes and let's wait. Now here you guys can see that we are done with the, the EKS cluster creation and around 70 resources that we are done with the addition to the AWS account. Okay, so let's let's see that the all those things here in your EKS account. So if I go back here and if I check the EKS service, and if I click, and here if I just click on the cluster, you guys can see here that yes, I have added a cluster. That's my cluster and this particular cluster is created with the help of terraform uh, and and you can see the name of the cluster is my cluster okay uh, so if i check what name here i've kept it it's a my cluster right so this is a particular cluster that we have created now if you want to interact with the cluster you need a kubectl tool to be installed already and with the help of that you can interact here okay so uh, and how you can generate so for kubectl you need something called as kubeconfig to be generated and you can generate that kubeconfig with this particular command okay so here the command says like kubectl uh, you know the update kubeconfig the name of your cluster and the region ap south one okay so make sure that you change the your cluster name and region as per your uh, you know uh, re requirement okay so here you can see you can see that in my case my name of the cluster is this one and the region is this one okay so i'll copy this particular command and then i will just put this okay i'll just put this command here now this is supposed to generate a cube config for me and here we go okay so our cube config generation is done and now uh, you can just all run all your kubectl commands okay so just to uh, whether you can access the cluster or not okay so maybe here i'll say kubectl git pods Okay, so right now we don't have any pods running or let's say if I check kubectl get nodes it's supposed to show me the all nodes here you can see that these are the two nodes that we have okay so this is how you can create your uh, Kubernetes cluster that is EKS with the help of Terraform and uh, let's say right now you're done with the practice and you just want to destroy it okay so in that case you can say Terraform destroy so now this command is going to destroy your entire infrastructure that whatever you have written here that is your vpc and the eks so uh, that's it for this uh, session and i hope you like the session so uh, please do like and share this uh, video